Hi there! Uh, my name is H.S. Suzanne Hell, and tonight I'm performing the Brook Violin Concerto with the Chamber Orchestra of the South Bay. So I'm here in beautiful, sunny Palos Verdes, and I'm just sitting backstage and warming up. The orchestra is playing the beautiful Brahms Serenade, and so if you hear a little bit of that in the background, that's what it is. Uh, and I wanted just to share a little bit of my warm-up routine. Now there are some key elements in this concerto in each of the movements I thought I would um, go through with you. So in the in the first movement, in fact I just heard a pre-concert lecture where um, there was a recording and I have no idea who played it, uh, but there's one spot in the very opening where everybody plays the rhythm incorrectly and I thought I would share with you how important it is uh, to play correctly. Now what every, everybody usually does is, because there's this very, very quick, rapid arpeggio up, uh, they start the arpeggio before the beat, uh, so it sounds like this. sounds just fine to you right now, listen to the difference when you play it in the correct rhythm. Now to me that has much more urgency and uh, in fact is the original uh, intended rhythm that Brooke wrote. Uh, same thing with the second passage. Now, um, in order to play this in rhythm, of course you have to play the arpeggio and practice really, really carefully. Articulation, left-hand articulation, string crossings, so... Yeah, make sure that note is in tune too. So now what I do is I really slow down the arpeggio. So slow down as if you were going to break A up. So make sure that each uh, finger is really, really strongly articulated. And um, screen keeps blocking out. And uh, also that uh, your string crossings are smooth because the last thing you want to hear is uh, awkward string crossings like which give you accents that you really don't want. It's one mad rush to the top so That's a little bit of the first uh, movement, little tidbit of information there. Uh, about the second movement, now it's, it's such a beautiful movement, probably the most beautiful uh, movement ever. <laughs> At least that's how I feel today. And, um, and for me, it's, it's, it's all about love. And the theme comes back over and over again, kind of like you rediscover things that you love more than one time in your life. So, uh, one very magical moment for me is when the beautiful theme in the beginning uh, changes to a really, really beautiful, ethereal and different key. Um, you to uh, always listen for is that every time that theme comes back that it is never the same 
because no matter how many times in your life you think you've you've done something every day, it's always a little bit different. So it's so so very special. Uh, now the the third movement, um, the key obviously is tone production for chords. Uh, they're very very quick breaks in chords. So there's um, a couple of things here, not only the to make sure that you don't crash the chord, uh, but make sure you have great contact and you follow through. And here, finger motion, loosen it up, don't get really, really stiff. And check intonation in between there, because even though it flies back by fast, People can hear it. Um, uh, there are a lot of. There's actually a lot of things I could go through with you, but in fact, I'm, I'm looking at the uh, clock and uh, I have to get changed. So next time we'll go through more. But I thought um, I, I hope that you've enjoyed this much.